Hi, sometimes you're working on a visual effects shot and you need some kind of atmospheric elements or smoke elements and many visual effects artists use a plugin like Fume Effects but when you're very close to a deadline you know simulating smoke and rendering smoke takes a lot of time so maybe it's better to create a particle system uh, where the particles are textured with a texture and blended together they create an illusion of smoke I will try to show you how you can create this in After Effects so go ahead and create a new composition I already did it now go to layer new solid and name it press OK next effect choose particular the emitter type should be point set particles to 150 direction directional um, choose which direction you would like the smoke to travel just playing with some values direction spread maybe 15 and this is the result I'm going to set the time of the particles to 17 the same as the timeline sorry that Camtasia is zooming in I'm making a new composition I'm calling it sprite so now I'm going to search uh, a texture for the smoke the particles will inherit this texture I'm creating a mask so that the textures can blend together I'm positioning it I'm going to feather it pressing F if you click twice MM on this layer then you can play with the expansion of the mask so now I'm going to drag and drop sorry I'm gonna choose sprite colorize as particle type I think you can also use sprite now we need the texture I'm gonna drag and drop it and choose sprite press OK so as you can see the textures are loaded so we need to increase the size to 255 size around them 100 maybe um, opacity random you can play with the values trying to see what kind of opacity it would like the size that's much better next step rotation set the orient to motion on let's go to the physic tab air and let's put some values here in the time factor make sure air resistance rotation is turned on spin amplitude 16 you can explore the values on your own I'm just trying to see if these values can work or not next I'm creating a light so that we can light the smoke I'm gonna position it somewhere maybe here 
I'm going to shading and turn it on. Also, just put the light fall off to none and shadow lit for main on. Choose a color for your smoke. I'm setting the layer to a 3D mode and I'm bringing it closer to the camera. Also, the light. And this is what we have at the moment. I'm playing with the shading of the smoke. Random rotation, maybe 27, and I'm testing it again. Now I'm going to the layer of the smoke and I'm playing with the settings. If you, pray, if you press AA on the smoke layer, you will see um, options like you know the diffuse, specular, I'm also playing with the light the intensity of the light trying to explore a different setting for the size so this is what I have at the moment Air resistance maybe to one. A bit too much. Reduce it to zero point three. Don't worry if I'm going too fast, I will provide you with the After Effects file. Maybe increasing the particles, 200. That's a bit better. I'm creating a second light. Don't forget to turn on cast shadows, top view, so that, so that I can position the lights. Playing with the position of the second light and as well as the intensity. And this is what we have. Playing with the size random, maybe increasing the size a little bit, maybe decrease it, whatever you want. There you go. I'm going to duplicate the layer and I just want to show you that if you play with the opacity of a life you can determine where the smoke will fade off so if you make it smaller the curve sorry for Camtasia but you will see that the smoke will uh, disappear much faster I 
as you can see. Just playing with the size again, and maybe also with uh, with the seed. You know, you can see which one you like and continue. I also wanted to show you one thing I forgot to show you at the beginning. When you choose your texture, make sure to create a new solid, a white solid, and put it under the smoke. Then press F4 on your keyboard and choose Luma Matte. In this way, you will keep the white pixels and you will remove the black pixels. Now we have an alpha for the smoke. This is a very important step. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed it.